August 16th, St. Joachim, father of the mother of our Lord. Joachim's wealth, like that of the first patriarchs, consisted chiefly in flocks and herds. The holy use he made of it drew down God's blessing upon it. But the greatest of all his desires, heaven seemed to refuse him. His holy spouse Anne was barren. Amongst all the daughters of Israel expecting the Messiah, there was no hope for her. One day, the victims Joachim presented in the temple were contemptuously rejected, because at that time the Jews thought that barren couples did not receive the blessing of the Lord. The glory for a Jew was to be an ancestor of the Messiah, the one awaited by the nations. The barren couple, therefore, would be denied such a glory. One can surmise that St. Joachim and St. Anne faced this scorn not just this one time, but many times. It was a constant burden they had to bear. In this case, however, it was still more afflictive because both were reaching old age and they still did not have a child. Much ashamed and not knowing the will of God, Joachim fled to the mountains without returning to the house of his wife. He began to fast, making this resolution, I will not take any food until the Lord looks at me with mercy. My prayer will be my fast. Meanwhile, Anne was mourning her widowhood because Joachim did not return, and also her barrenness. She prayed in her garden as Joachim was praying on the mountain. Their prayers ascended at the same time to the Most High, and he granted them their request. An angel of the Lord appeared to each of them and bade them meet at the golden gate. And soon Anne could say, Now I know the Lord hath greatly blessed me, for I was a widow, and I am no longer, and I was barren, and lo, I have conceived. From this trial in the life of both saints, we can find a lesson in confidence. When everything seems lost, when nothing seems to make any sense, when the action of divine providence towards us seems inexplicable, this is the moment when we should trust with the most confidence, because we are drawing near the moment when the very explanation will be given. Blessed are those whom God sets on the roads of the inexplicable, because they will receive the most excellent explanations. Here we close for today, then, with our prayer to St. Joachim, St. Anne, and Our Lady of the Assumption, that they give us a confidence that resists every trial, that can bear the most inexplicable contradictions, and that affirms itself amid the greatest sorrows.